systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Sorry, I, I didn't. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. 
I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Yep, reckon so. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Nice talking to you. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Mercy. <laughs> I do not see the word in my law books. The Patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? You really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you, Say thank you, thank you.
<clears throat> we should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you? I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Quan. Reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. <laughs> Don't blink. It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Ah, oh, Marshals! Finally! I was beginning to think you were never going to help... Hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the Sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. That may be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No, thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Sheriff Daisy, I will not please put in a word to the sheriff for me. If she'd only lend me a marshal or two, I'd rescue my family myself. Sheriff wants to speak to you, Rangers. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak... You mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. That girl, you think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me too. Tell you what though, her people are 100 family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Hmm. 
I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. <laughs> She's making a joke. She knows very well that my father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk. And I'm the best shot in this city. You may ask anyone. Everybody knows what I can do. I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. I know very little about you, strangers. And even if I trusted you as I would a friend, it is still my family who the Dorseys threaten. I must go. At last. <clears throat> We ain't Dorsey, going for our lives! We ain't weak like you! Extra, extra, cowardly attack on Colton. By order of the Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Good day. Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. Consarn it! You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! Hush up now, Josiah! You can't go in there alone! They'll kill you! You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life! Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed! Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? K 
can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Well, go on then. We thought you was all dead! Back off! I done told you! Don't come any closer! Ah, uh, nah, you're right. We're gone. Huh, <laughs> nice get up. Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. We'll clean up the old store and make it good as new. Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, hats, and all the rest. Finest garments in town. And here. A little token of our appreciation. Come on back after we reopen the shop. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up. Careful though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Snapping Jimmy Bob's still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's. You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Oh, hi, huh? new faces. Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some Dorseys in the city. Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it but the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. That's snapping, Jimmy Bob, thank you. Not that much to tell. My dad was a trader and a good one, and now I'm a trader and a good one. Might seem boring to wandering muscle like yourself, but I like it. Let's.
delicious Christ! Crab cakes! Well, I guess that takes care of the landmine. I'm back in business. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium! We have everything you need, just for the asking and, well, the paying. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. Nope. No. Wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Me? I've never even seen a fish in my life. Wondrous creatures, I hear. Ah, you want to hear about the wide open seas, my trusty vessel, the wild waves crashing the shores? Well, sorry chums, I'm just here to sell stuff. What would you like? Sardine Lee. Welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mart. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. I can clean you up, sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey Raid. I can help with that too. What do you need? Just a simple humanitarian who saw a niche that needed filling. Now, are you buying or are you talking? Remedies for regret, children. Headache pills, hair of the dog, pills for the pox, pills for the pain, and first aid kits for those of you who might have started something you couldn't finish. All guaranteed to fill you with pep and put a spring in your step. What can I get you? Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand.
Did you see the Dorseys almost blow up the statue? Yeah, I was hiding under the bookseller's stall. Marshall stuff in the last second. Wouldn't be Marshall Square without it. That's not going to hold. I want to talk to Mama. She's the one in charge. You got business with Mama Cotter? Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. when you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhorn's oh, first car. Smaller problem when than he they gave thought. up the ghost in the plains, he salvaged what he could. They don't make them like they used to. You seen before you. All because he couldn't bear to be separate. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah. They didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet, but we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Eh? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, 
thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer is our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's 10 pounds of attitude in a five pound bag. At the moment, yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho though. Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us, and we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost in the plains, he salvaged what he could, turned it into this monster you see no before. Time. All because he couldn't bear to be separated from his machine. That's dedication for you. Also to get out of... Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. Great. Then get started on those patients. actually walk again. I'm feeling better by the minute. You saved my life. They wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't they stop? What's going on? Did you patch me up? It still hurts, but way less than it did. Thank you.
It isn't. That bad, bad, is it? Just flesh wound. Am I right? You should see the other guy. Found something? This looks like it could help Parker's patients. You closed my wound. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own guts. Thanks. I would have bled to death without you. What now? Good. Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck. said we're closed till further notice. What these marshals and Dorsey's got on them? Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Awaiting orders. Flowing <laughs> melee. They've spotted us.
wasn't worth it. <sighs> Dead to
I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. It's the garden of the gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck, those Dorseys. Nope. No room for amateurs in this town, you hear? No room. 